Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Note Music here today with another tutorial, and today we're going to be going over how to organize your project using track stacks just like these. Before we start, I'm going to kindly ask that if you do like this video, you hit that like button and subscribe if you want to get notified when I post more videos. Ready? And let's dive in. So in my previous video, I actually covered how to use folder stacks, which I'm going to link at the top right here. Um, but I'm going to go over it again for the purposes of this video as well. So folder stacks are essentially these right here. Uh, they are folders which um, contain a bunch of different tracks for the purposes of organization. So how do you create a folder stack? Well, there's two different ways. The first way is you can either select the tracks that you want to put in a folder. So if I wanted these three, I select those three. I can right click here and I can select create track stack or the other option is I can use the key command with it, which is shift command D. So I can hit shift command D on my keyboard and it gives me an option. Uh, so I can either create a folder stack or a summing stack. I want to create a folder stack. So I'm going to click create and there you have it. You have a folder stack that contains all those tracks that you had previously selected. Once you've created a folder stack, you can feel free to drag any other tracks that you have into that specific folder. Okay. And you can, maximize and minimize it using this drop down arrow on the left side of the icon. All right, the next kind of track stack we're gonna create is called a summing stack. How do we do that? Same way we did the other time, we're gonna select the tracks that we want, holding down shift as we click. We're gonna use our key command, shift command D, and this time we're gonna click summing stacks. If you want details, actually uh, list the details right here, and it tells you what uh, what they are. So if you want details on a folder stack, it tells you a basic track that lets you mute, solo, and control volume from the main track. This uh, option to organize tracks. So this is mainly for organizing, the purpose of a folder stack. A summing stack is a little different. So a summing stack is a multi-purpose track that mixes its subtracks and can be saved as a patch. This type can also record and playback MIDI or remote control uh, recording on audio only subtracks. So we're gonna go over what that is and why it's a little different from folder tracks. So we're gonna click create and these are all gonna be associated to a summing track now. I'm gonna turn the volume up uh, just so you can hear it and see how the controls work. So with a summing stack, um, when I choose to play any note um, on my keyboard while I have it selected, it plays all the tracks that um, are contained within that um, summing folder. So for example. Whereas if I was to play each individually, I could still do that. But it sounds a little different. All right, but if I click the summing track and then I decide to play um, any note or a chord, whatever I want, it plays every track. The other thing that summing stacks are good for uh, is when you open up your mixer actually, I'm just gonna put this here, and command two to open up your mixer, is that when you want to mix something, um, or mix all those subtracks that are contained within that summing stack folder that you created, you can do it from here. Okay, you can do it, uh, you can add uh, effects, um, plugins, um, you can EQ, whatever you want. Uh, it's really easy to do. The benefit of doing this is that instead of you using additional CPU power to do it individually on each of these tracks, if they can be mixed together, you can just put them in a summing stack and you can do it through there, which makes it a lot easier. So if I want to EQ this, I can add some EQ on my um, summing stack and that'll EQ all the tracks that are uh, incorporated into that summing stack. The next thing we're gonna be going over is organization and how to incorporate folder stacks and summing stacks into your project with a little bit more detail. So notice here we have a folder stack. If I wanted to, I could actually create a summing stack within a folder stack, but I can't create a folder stack within a folder stack. And you'll see what I mean right here. If I was to select these tracks, which are um, contained within this folder stack here, you can notice which tracks are contained within it based on the separation uh, right here, this little curve. 
So I'm going to hit Shift Command D to create a uh, another track stack here. And notice that the folder stack is grayed out. That's because I cannot create a folder stack within a folder stack. However, I can create a summing stack within a folder stack. So I can do that. And now these tracks within this folder stack can be mixed together. And that is great for organization purposes. Let's say you have a bunch of tracks within your folder stack and you want them to be able to be mixed separately, but they're still associated to that folder stack. This is a great way to do it. Okay, everybody, and that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. And be sure to subscribe for updated content and to get notified. Thank you and take care.